Do you know there is a free video editor in Windows 10, right in the photo app? Yes, that's right, in the photo app, a video editor. Let's check it out in this video. To look for the photo app, all you need to do is to hit on the Windows key here and then just uh, type in photos and that's actually the uh, photo app. And right in this photo app, there is a video editor. I don't know why, but that's how Microsoft uh, did it. So right here, you can actually look for your video projects or go for a new video. Let's go and create a new video and start a new video project. Create one called the birds and the bees. This is my video project. There are two ways to add media to your project. One is to just click on this a big add button. A simpler way is actually to just go to the folder where your videos are or your media is and just uh, drag and drop it in. So I'm just going to uh, drop, drag this in. Okay, so uh, right over here is where your project library is. You can actually change it to look at this in a larger view. Okay, I'm going to turn it back to the grid view. And to place it on the storyboard, your storyboard is at the bottom here. And this is actually your viewer. So this is talking about birds and bees. Uh, let's talk about, let's put the bird there. Okay, and then let's put the uh, dragonfly here. And let's put the uh, bees. Now, you can do a few things with these uh, videos. So number one, let's select this. You can trim it, you can split it, you can add text, add motion, 3D effects, filters. We will cover all this. Let's try and trim this video first, okay? And you can play it. Okay, maybe here. And you can trim it by just moving this point here. And after you have trimmed this, you can see the time here. Okay, so the clip length. You can see right at the bottom here or at the top as well. So I'm just going to click on done. Now you can add a few things here. You can actually add text. You can add motion. Okay. And the motion uh, is like uh, panning and zooming. So I'm just, I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to show you. Uh, but you can see and just click on it to apply that pen and uh, zoom or tilt or whatever. We're going to leave it. Okay. And we're, we're going to do text in the next one. So I'm just going to click on done. So this is the first clip. I'm going to show you how to do a split. Okay, so with the clip selected, do a split here. And you split this by moving this uh, somewhere here. So you have clip one and clip two. Okay, so I'm just going to say split it somewhere here. So once you split it, you have two clips. So you can actually apply some effects on one of the clips rather than on uh, having an effects that go across the entire clip. For example, maybe when you just put text on this. Okay, so this time I'm going to put text. And I'm going to put, say, this is a dragonfly. Now, you can choose the type of text that you want. Uh, but note that your choices are pretty limited. For example, if you choose this, then you have these things over here. Now, if you change the position, right, it changes as well. And you practically don't have much choice. And this blurs, for example, this blurs the entire screen. You can't really see much over there. But uh, you can actually move this so that the text only appears here okay so here the screen is clear and then as it goes on this gets blurred off okay so if you're not after that effect then that's uh, unfortunately there's nothing much that you can do okay so you have to work within the constraints of that software now honestly i find this a little bit too restricting in the sense and like for instance there's this line over here that's so annoying the white line is over there. What's the white line doing over there? So anyway, um, all right, so this is pretty edgy. And uh, so it smacks in and blocks the whole thing. So like, like this effect is still not too bad, but you notice there's a lot of other, for a lot of other text, it just, you know, it's pretty limited in that sense. So anyway, we're going to leave the text over here and leave it as it is. I'm going to show you three other things. So the first one is let's do a 3D effect. Okay, let's do a 3D effect with this one. Uh, click on 3D effect. So what happens here is that you have a 3D library. And since this is going to be 
box and bees. Let's go and add some animals here. Let's add a pterodactyl. Okay. And so you can add this over here and sort of rotate this and sort of have a so resize it. You can have a fight, okay? Dog fight between <laughs> two. And you can add some other effects to this uh, 3D thing over there. Let's do a swing around as well. So if you play. Maybe cool if you are after that, okay? After something like this. Okay, there's a few things. You can even adjust the volume over there as well. So, uh, second last thing, let's add a title card. So, let's add a title here before this starts. And after, once you click on the title, you can add text. Just say birds and bees. Let's, yeah, let's just do that. Click on OK. So, you have a title. And once you have done, your video will look something like this. Birds and bees. Then it goes to the birds. Okay. And finally, it's the bees. Okay. And you can also add some background music over here. Okay, so all custom audio as well. So add your custom audio. So I'm not going to add an audio here because I'm not quite sure whether these songs are royalty free or whether it's Creative Commons to upload to YouTube later on. Once you're done, you can actually click on Finish audio Video. You can export your video in high, medium, low. All right, so that's about it. What's my verdict? Normally when I review a video editing software, I would actually use that particular software and create that video and then post it up to YouTube. Now in this instance, I didn't do that because I already knew that if I use a Windows a Video Editor, it would actually just take me too long. There are so many things I need to cut and trim off and it will probably take me four times as long just to create that video. And there are also certain things that's not there. For example, something basic like transitions is not there. Uh, creating the titles or the text is actually quite basic. And some of the basic things that nowadays is available for uh, uh, some of the video editors is like multi-track. For example, you want to layer your either your video and your audio, all those are also not available. So I feel that if you are very new to video editing and you want to make one video in an entire year or maybe two videos and you don't plan to make any more video or much videos then maybe this is something that you can do and it doesn't require you much uh, tutorials to even learn it however if you are planning to make a, a, a few more videos maybe say one a month or something like that i feel that there are a lot of other better video editors out there and allows you to not only create better videos and to create them faster but also make you enjoy that experience that much more Okay, so I have links to all those videos. Remember to check them out and it will also be in this uh, end screen here. Check those videos out and I'm sure they will actually help you make better videos in the future.